What is the grace of God? Titus chapter 2 and verse 11 says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. God's grace is not just for the elect few. It's available for everyone. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Grace teaches us something. According to verse 12, it teaches us that we should deny ungodliness and worldly lust and live righteously, soberly, and godly in this present world. Grace dramatically changes us. It turns us from a self-centered to a God-centered life where we can be delivered and set free from sin in the here and the now. Verse 13, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace gives us hope for Christ to return and establish his kingdom here on earth, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify under himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. So grace purifies us. Grace redeems us. It sets us free from the power and dominion of sin so we can reckon ourselves to be dead indeed unto sin and alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. This passage in Titus ties grace in with good works. Ephesians chapter 2 says, By grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works lest any man should boast. But we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. So good works are the result and the evidence of God's grace in our life.